right now we actually don't do any Twitter or Facebook. Um, our focus is on this alternative space. And what we've observed over the last two, three years is that enforcement actions taken by major platforms, deplatforming users that are uh, essentially frequent flyers of disinformation um, and hate and violence, it's pushed those folks and their audiences and communities to the fringe, to smaller sites like Gab, Getter, these alternative spaces where, as far as we can tell, anything goes. There's a distinct lack of content moderation. Google recently came out and said they're no longer supporting some of these applications because of the amount of violent content that's on them, the amount of death threats that are on them. And wow. that is very consistent with what we observe um, on these platforms is because there's no either will to do content moderation or it's by explicit policy, these, these sites say anything goes, free speech for all. Um, that's what has led to this um, festering social phenomena of um, this kind of content that it's, it really snowballs, right? Mm -hmm. One user will put a false theory about what happened, say, in Uvalde, Texas, uh, with the school shooting there. And the next thing you know, other users are parroting that, and then it gains tr a certain amount of traction, starts to, to move across these platforms, and in a blink of an eye, it's migrated over to Twitter. And it's now the latest kind of conspiracy theory that's um, you know kind of floating around in these communities. And... The, the, that's the reason why we think that the alternative space is where to pay attention to because it's more and more um, the hospitable host for highly violent, highly um, hateful content. And then it makes its way, migrates over to the mainstream platforms once it's gained traction on these small, smaller sites.